Well, all right, welcome back to the Write 10 Club, my friends. This is your weekly joke writing challenge where you get a new word and write a new joke in 10 minutes. Today's word of the day, you see scrolling across the screen, it is shake. So we're gonna shake things up a bit by using our Uniball 207 Plus. I had a corporate gig this weekend and treated myself to some new pens and a Uniball is a, always a good, smooth write. So the word of the day is shake. And uh, I like to use different color ink too, just to shake it up a bit. <laughs> All right. So we have 10 minutes on the clock. Word of the day is shake. Feel free to write along with me. Feel free to, if you're watching on our Wednesday live stream when we do this, feel free to uh, spit out ideas as I'm spitting them out. And um, let's get into it, my friends. So 10 minutes, word of the day, shake. So to shake things out, first thing I like to do is just get the ideas out there, shake things out, not doing anything right or wrong or good or bad or funny or naw. It's just getting the juices flowing by just what do you think of when you hear the word shake? What comes to mind? Off the jump, shake and bake, which is um, uh, Talladega Nights. Which from that movie, Talladega Nights. And look, there's no wrong way to do this. This is literally for the next few minutes, just getting as much out of our head as possible. And then we can start to go back and formulate it into a joke. Um, Shake Your Booty. I believe that is a song, right? Shake, 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 shake your booty. Um, uh, pepper shaker. You know, just getting the ideas out here. Pepper shaker. Uh, James Bond, shaken, not stirred. And that's James Bond. There's a common phrase. Um, what was it? Don't shake a baby shake could be connected to um, Parkinson's I think shake it off is a song right is that a T-Swift song uh, shake oh of course, milkshake. Milkshake, and that makes me think of like um, <laughs> lactose intolerance. And there could be some fun uh, wordplay around um, shaking off the sugar, giving you the sugar shakes, perhaps. Um, Steak and shake is one. So see, this is why we do the brainstorming part at the beginning because it kind of just, it's low pressure. You're not trying to do anything, but just word vomiting. It makes the joke writing process very accessible because you can see in just a little bit we've already done, we've gone from like movie quotes to uh, like food and to like dancing. So, and common phrases and stuff. So whatever comes to mind, you know, Words, phrases, uh, tangential connections. Shake makes you think of bake, which makes you think of cooking. I don't know. Um, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Augie said shake weights. Yes, indeedy, my friends. Um... Excuse me one second. We seem to have some spam in the live chat. So shake weight is funny though. And it could be. Shake weight. Um, could be. No, I want to lose weight. So it could be something with. Um. 
shake weight because, or they you should call it shake fat because that's all you do as you're shaking it, you know? Uh, shake it off, shake it out. Shake and bake. Shake. So I, I usually like to brainstorm the first half uh, just to kind of get the juices flowing. And then the second half, we like to kind of start to organize it into a nice, tight joke. All right, so next, let's let's get into it here. So milkshake. Um, I don't know. There's something about milkshake that I like. So let me try to play around with that because I think there's maybe like a lactose intolerance joke. Um, here. So now we want to start formulating into a joke. So. Way to do that is you first start off with your premise. So what do you want to say in this joke? So I would like to say that I love milkshakes in the setup. But so then in a one-liner, it's a misdirect. You're setting up the audience thinking one direction. And then the punchline says a second direction. Oh, earthquakes is a good one. It's Akuma. So I want the punchline to actually say I hate milkshakes. So you see, we're, we're working on creating that misdirect. So your setup should say one thing, but the punchline says the opposite. So for I love milkshakes, what are all the ways we could say I love milkshakes? My favorite food is milkshakes. Is mil are milkshakes. Um, milkshakes are my favorite cheat meal I could live on milkshakes maybe I just started a milkshake diet And maybe there's something with like a uh, juice cleanse. And maybe there's a joke. I mean, it's kind of dirty. I mean, it's a poop. It's a poop joke. It's a poop joke. Something about diarrhea. Um, milkshake, one of the basic food groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you there, Tim. Food pyramid. Yeah, so maybe there is a mystery we can do around, um, yeah, it being healthy but gnaw type deal, you know. So I just started a milkshake diet, a juice cleanse. Maybe there's a word that rhymes with juice or cleanse. Colon cleanse. I just started a milkshake diet. So just to get the juices flowing, my doctor recommended a colon cleanse. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and makes them sit on the toilet. Brings, brings all the boys to the yard, but if you're over 30, that yard is an outhouse. Doctor recommended a colon cleanse. Milkshake. So we're getting we're getting somewhere here. We got about 90 seconds left. See if we can get something here at the buzzer. Doctor recommended a colon cleanse. Milkshake. Um prescribed. What is it called? Uh laxative. Um, so maybe a, a milkshake is cheaper than a laxative, or as I call it, a laxative. 
I just started a new milkshake diet. Laxative. Milkshakes. Thirty seconds. Milk Dairy Queen has the best milkshakes. I feel like I did a similar joke to this with a different word, but maybe something around like Dairy Queen has the best milkshakes, serves royal milkshakes. I know why the best milkshakes are at Dairy Queen. All right. So at the buzzer here, Dairy Queen serves royal milkshakes right after I'm on the throne. So it's basically trying to say that they're delicious, but they leave me on the toilet, you know. And I feel like there was maybe a joke. <laughs> we had a word of the day a few weeks ago where I had a royal throne joke. So I don't know what that says about me, but writing a joke in, in 10 minutes live on the internet at 10 a.m., you're welcome for even doing this for free. So... To kind of land the plane here, um, all right, I now know how Dairy Queen got its name. Their milkshakes. To me on the throne. On the porcelain throne. So, not great. Not something I'm going to do on stage anytime soon. But, the whole name of this game is to sit down and write for 10 minutes. To focus on just nothing but silly joke writing for 10 minutes. And if you've watched this before, you know the name of the game is repetition so you write 20 jokes and end up keeping one so hopefully this at least got your juices flowing and you can use this as a jumping off point to spark some writing momentum that you can then take into your day after this keep writing you know this is just a little brainstorming exercise that i hope helped you out there and if it did subscribe and tell your fellow comedy writers to um hang out with us here at the hop retiverse on our podcast, we release every Monday on our Tuesday live streams or our Wednesday live streams. It's all about comics helping comics here. So we'll see you next week, y'all. Bye. Bye.